Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club. Coming to you guys. Are you ready for an NBA preseason video, guys? Um, it's back. It came back quick, too, right? We got this. I told y'all we got NHL coming up January 1st. So um, welcome. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Hit that thumbs up and leave a comment. I, I don't care that you guys comment anything. It helps me out. Apparently with the YouTube algorithm, um, you'd be doing me a solid. So I really appreciate that. And fresh off the court, Schroeder Skywalker here. That's right. Schroeder Skywalker. From the DFS club, he's also here. Maybe we'll get in uh, some shorter picks on this slate. Who's going to get a? Maybe not. I don't know. Because normally he does. He's going to get the triple doubles. So subscribe. You get shorter's picks. You get my picks. And speaking of picks, guys, if you want my lineups, my cheat sheets, my projections, the ownership, DFSclub.com, guys. This is where it's at. We are the cheapest in the industry. You don't just get NBA, though. You get NFL. You get everything. You get UFC, uh, MLB, college sports, guys, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, esports, college sports. Click join now. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. And then, then pick your plans, guys. We're the cheapest in the business, and it's not even close. I advise you to please shop around. And then when you're done... Come holler at your boys. So DFSclub.com. And it has been a long freaking day, man. I worked a 12-hour shift today. Woo! I'm on fumes right now, guys. But we're going to break this uh, preseason game down because that's what we do. So what I'm going to go off of is basically what teams did last season and maybe even the season before that. Um I'll bring FanDuel up here for you FanDuel lovers. I don't like putting up uh, DraftKings because DraftKings is real, ain't all about suspending accounts for sharing lineups. So um, that's a whole nother video I should make. <laughs> but anyways, I'll put up DraftKings, but I'll name some players out that I like on. Um, um, when I name the, the DraftKings players out, I'll throw out some prices too. But everybody on FanDuel is a thousand bucks. Everybody's or sorry, a hundred bucks. Everybody's the same price, so a lot easier on fan, but it's easy on DraftKings too, guys. Um, a lot of the stars, how we're going to approach this, so a lot of the stars, a lot of the older players, a lot of the banged up players that are coming off of injuries, we're going to fade them, all right, because they don't get a lot of minutes in the preseason, as history has shown, but that's the first strategy you want in preseason. Second of all, Twitter is your best friend. Now, I hate Twitter. I can't stand it. But I use it for NBA preseason, guys, because then you go to all these beat writers for all these teams, and normally you'll get an inside scoop as to who's going to play in the preseason. All right? So those are that's step one. Step two is we're going to go off of basically how these teams went last season. Um, there are some coaching changes, this and that, but let's go, guys. Let's go. So we'll start off with Orlando ATL. So Orlando, um, you know, they just spread the ball out so damn much. Like, I don't feel really confident with anybody. Maybe Marquez Fultz. I think he'll get a decent run. But what they did last year is they pretty much spread it out to everybody. Um, any news? Let's see. No news. Nope. That's back in August. But, yeah, Fultz is pretty much the only Magic I like, guys. Again. I know you're going to say, well, what about Vucevic and all the – no, no. They'll play like 10, 15 minutes if you're lucky. So wait for the regular season. I'm giving you guys a down low on the preseason. Um, let's see here. So as far as the Atlanta side goes, I like Bogdan Bogdanovich, guys. He's What is he on uh, – he's 4.8K on DraftKings. But he should get a decent run, guys. He should. It's a new team. They're gonna probably going to want to see what he has. Um, one of the plays I like on this uh, particular game, this game's not my favorite to stack by any means, but I think if we, uh, we can get some of these Atlanta players and it'll really play off. Now, I think Trey Young, Ice Trey, 
is going to get his minutes in at least 20 minutes. That's what you're going to aim for here is at least 20 minutes. Um, get Trey Young 20 minutes. He'll give you 30 fantasy points. So hundred dollars. Everybody's a hundred dollars here on FanDuel, but on DraftKings, um, ice trays, 8.5 K, but again, it doesn't matter because you should have no problems filling a roster on both sites, but absolutely Trey Young, um, John Collins. Uh, no, I'm going to fade him. Um, maybe yeah, it's just Atlanta. It's just like they've rebuilt their whole team, right? A lot of new faces here. I think that's it, guys, as far as like that. I feel confident giving you guys picks on Look, Cam Reddish. <laughs> Sound like a goddamn uh, produce item. All right. So let's look at the this game here. Knicks, Pistons. Derrick Rose is an automatic fade for me. Um, Noel might get some time. One of the bigs. He should actually. Pretty decent play. $100 here. Um, what is he on? I actually don't know what he is on DraftKings. Up a minute, but just write these names down, all right? I can't do everything for you. <laughs> but no, seriously, guys, just write the names down. And then write the names down, take notes, and then just put your lineups together tomorrow. Nerlens Noel should get a decent run, hopefully about 20 minutes. Um, RJ Barrett, definitely another one worth in consideration, 4.7K. Still a kid, man. They're going to run these kids out there, I think. That's what they've always done in the preseason. So it's RJ Barrett. He's hit or miss, guys. Freaking Wade Barrett's brother from WWE. And then uh, where is the kid at? Where is this rookie at? Let me type him in here. OB. Not Obi-Wan Kenobi, guys, but Obi Toppin, guys. Um, rookie, they're going to see what this kid has. So hopefully, I don't know if he's going to come off the bench or start, but I know he's going to play, and I know he's going to play some decent minutes. So, again, we'll see, especially if he starts, guys, get his ass in there. Um, he's only 4.8K on DraftKings, but Obi Toppin, sound like Mary Poppins, but – yeah, guys, get them in there. Well, they're going to see what this kid's got. Um, let's see. Another one. Killian Hayes, guys, another kid. For the, you know, for the Pistons. Pistons is going to be tricky, so don't go heavy on the Pistons, but get these rookies in there. They're going to they'll probably get, hopefully, I mean, they might even start. You never know with the freaking Knicks. Now, I know it's a new coach, um, but. Again, let's see what happens tomorrow. But this is my first peek, guys, at these uh, games of, of who I like. Blake Griffin's not really probably going to play that much. Again, stay away from these veterans, um, people coming off of injuries. Like Julius Randle, not so much anymore. Um, maybe Alfred Payton. I doubt it. I probably won't go there. Kevin Knox, no. He, give him all the minutes in the world. He just, you know. No, maybe Mason Plumley. I mean, he's kind of older, right? So that just kind of gives me like maybe I shouldn't here. New team. Um, he's a big, but Plumley shoots threes. We all know his game. We all know his game plan, but um, worth consideration, guys. But I think we can do better with the bigs. All right, so let's go to Houston, Chicago, baby. So. Houston was the go-to in preseason every year, right? That coach would, would play the starters fucking 30-plus minutes. Um, new coach now. So there you go. But there's still plays to be had here, guys. Off the top, just right off the top of my head. So I know I'm going to fade John Wall, right? I don't think he's going to get a lot of minutes. It's not that he's not going to play. I just don't think he's going to get a lot of minutes. Otto Porter, older, right? I don't think they're going to make these older guys play. Um, Sadoransky, eh, probably not, guys. I don't think we got to go there. Um, Zach Levine, I think Zach Levine can get you there. Hundred dollars on on Fanduel, like everybody else. Um, do I have a price for him? I don't. You guys have to look that one up on your own. But Zach Levine's a solid play. He should get about twenty minutes. Young Bulls team, guys. He's still young. He's not coming off of nothing. Um. But, yeah, guys, Zach Levine's a solid play. Um, Eric Gordon, I already bring him up. Love this play here. Again, guys, you saw he did really good last season without James Harden. So, no James Harden. 
Eric Gordon probably should get 20 minutes. Um, he balled out last season, guys. Don't forget that. So he might say he might go out there and be like, you know what, coach, we don't need James. I got this. So you got to think of it that way. He's looking to take this spot. So I love Eric Gordon on this slate, guys. Um, he's 4.3K on DraftKings. And then where's – where's there he is. Christian, I got morning wood, guys. I think he'll get plenty of playing time. A uh, big that I love on this slate. Um, 7.5K on DraftKings. I think he'll be pretty popular because everybody knows pretty much. He'll probably get about 20 minutes, which is what I think you'll get out of everybody. Uh, maybe Sacramento does what they do. Sacramento does run their starters out there, but we'll get to that game in a second. And Schroeder just comes and goes. Right now, he just, oh, woo. All right. Woo. Schroeder just came up here, guys. And on Mamas, he just came up here and just busted ass right in my face. My God, dude. Thanks. I don't go in your, in your, oh, my God. Sorry, guys. That's potent. That's pungent. Woo! Stinky booty boy. Schroeder's a trickster. He loves to do that stuff, guys. I apologize. Christian Wood, though. Get him in there. And then maybe some Wendell Carter Jr., guys. Let's see. Kobe White, maybe, too. I mean, these Bulls. Does Kobe White, though, get 20 minutes? Probably not. Probably freaking not. Daniel Roadhouse. I mean, it's Roadhouse. You give him 30, and you're still not confident. So. Um, I have my notes there. Where, where's Wendell at? Uh, let's see here. I already pulled him up. I probably already pulled him up, guys. There he is. Wendell Carter Jr. is a big. I think he'll get a decent amount of playing time. I'm just saying. Um, he's pretty good points per minute. Um, hundred dollars. What is he, he on DraftKings? He's, uh, 4.7K. So Wendell Carter Jr. is not bad. I like this this game right here, Houston, Chicago, guys. Um, let's see. That's a good game to stack. Let's go to the Clippers and Lakers. You know none of the stars are going to play for the Lakers. Um, no no Le Le Woke James. No Anthony Davis. Um, okay. Are you, are you, are you done? I, I don't know if he's done, guys. Should I trust him? Would you trust this face? I don't know. Maybe. Guys, if you're new, we have fun on this show. All right. So, Schroeder and I have a blast. He's sitting here. He's, he wants to play. Look at that. Look at those fangs. Um, careful. He bites. But, yeah, Schroeder likes to play around. So do I. So, if you're new, we have fun. Um, but, yeah, the studs, the Lakers, nah. Nope, nope, nope. Dennis Schroeder, yes. I love this play. I think he'll get decent run. Um, 6.8K on DraftKings. It's definitely a solid play. Give him 20 minutes. And then we got Montrizzle, my hizzle, my nizzle. But guess what, guys? He's on the Lakers. He's on the Lakers. Last season and preseason, they ran the brakes off of him. I think he played like 30 minutes or something like that. Revenge game. Automatic revenge game right here. One of my favorite plays of the slate, guys, is Montrezl, my hizzle, my nizzle. What is he on uh, 6.2K on DraftKings? I love him, and I like Zubots, guys. Let's, I know Zubots is going to get run. With all these guys sitting, they need the bigs out there. Um, $100 on Fandle like everybody else. 5K on DraftKings. Lock them and load them, guys. I think there's a, a lot of value there. Um, let's see, who else? I don't know, Gasol's like 150 years old. Kai Bowman, no, I think he'll be coming off the bench. Now, when doing this, you don't have to go to like the third stringers. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you really don't have to. Um, where is, where's Terrence Mann? Didn't he get traded over here? Let me, let me, let me see here. I should be more prepared, right? I'm just going off. Yeah, there he is. Terrence Mann for the Clippers with no... Paul George, uh, no Kawhi Leonard. I think Terrence Mann gets lots of minutes here, guys. I know, Terrence Mann. Who would have known? Um, he's only 4.2K on DraftKings. Get him in there, guys, at shooting guard. Um, who else? Let's see. 
on paper, if this was regular season, yeah, we'd be all over. We'd stack the hell out of this game. Clippers have a new coach, so kind of really can't go off of last preseason. Mark, like I said, who the fuck is Jay Scrub? Don't know. But I ain't going to play him. Um, I think that's it for this game, guys, that I'm eyeballing here. Marcus Moore. The Morris brothers are kind of old. Pat Bev, they're not going to risk it. Maybe some Reggie Jackson. Again, with no uh, Paul George and Kawhi, I think Reggie Jackson gets decent run. And if Reggie's threes are hitting, he could break the slate, guys. So just saying, don't forget about old Reggie Jackson. Um, Quinn Cook. Uh, yeah. Serge Ibaka, no, nah, they're going to rest him. They're definitely going to rest him. All right, let's go to Sacramento, Portlo. Portlo. Portland. So this game I love. So, again, last season – if you guys remember that first preseason game for Sacramento, they ran their starters to the ground and it went into overtime. So when you go last year, look at the minutes, take about five minutes off of their minutes because it did go to overtime. The starters did come out and play. Um, but with that said, if we're going to, we're talking about starters are going to run their starters. We're going to go De'Aaron Fox guys. Where is he at? Let's bring him up here. We're trying to hide him from you. Here he is. De'Aaron Fox guys. I think he should get about 20 minutes or so. Um, and what a season he had last year. So get him in there, guys. What is he on DraftKings? 8.3K. I think you definitely take some shots here. Um, and my man, you guys that have been watching my videos know i a huge fan of Jabari Parker. Give, give, give Jabari a chance, guys. I'm like, I'm going to campaign for Jabari Parker as a... a a full player, man. I love this guy. Every time I play him, he's just won me so many takedowns uh, because he's always so low on. But Jabari Parker should have a decent run. Even though I'm a fan, that's not being biased, okay? Um, Rashawn Holmes, where is he at? He should get a lot of run. Harrison Barnes will get a lot of run, but he don't do nothing out there. Um, Buddy Heald, nah. I mean, you could. He does come off the bench last season, and then he didn't have a very good season. That's risky. There's Rashawn Holmes. So I'm going to get these bigs in here, guys. Um, what is he on DraftKings? Um, 4.1K. That's really cheap. For a guy that's probably going to get about 20-plus minutes. Coming off probably not one of his best seasons, but look out for this kid, man. He's, he's going to bounce back this year. I'm telling you, these sophomore slumps are a real fucking thing. Um Enos Cantor might get a shot here, guys. I wouldn't be surprised at 4.1K on DraftKings. Um, I would definitely get some shots of him. I know there's rumors he wants to be a wrestler and all this stuff, but I think they're going to run the brakes off this guy. <laughs> I seriously do. That's just a, a inkling I have. Um, and Enos Cantor, really, you give him 20 minutes, not bad. Not bad. Um, let's see. Harry Giles. Did we already go over Harry Giles? Just kind of looking at him. I'm kind of thinking he might start. Where's Giles? See, it's not on draft dashboard, which I normally always use, guys, which you already know that. They don't have they're not anywhere um, anywhere close to loading uh, NBA up yet. So here he is. Harry Giles. Um, should get a decent run. You want to run these, these Sacramento bigs, guys. Um, I don't know. I think he's power forward and center eligible on DraftKings. Um, 4, 4K? Why not? Why not? I'm looking at youth here, guys. They're going to see what these kids got. So Giles is in play. I'm looking at a lot of these Sacramento players. I'm just going off of last year, guys. It was Sacramento and Houston were the teams that load up on last preseason. But since Houston has a new coach, we're not going to do that. So we got Sacramento. We got them Sacramento Queens, baby. McCollum, guys, these these starters are not for Portland. We're not going to get a lot of run. Um, where is – here we go. Anthony Simmons should, though, right? Who's left? So Anthony Simmons should get about 20, 20 minutes. Again, high expectations last season. He did have his highlights, but for the most part, didn't quite live up to it. But – He'll be out there. Get him in there, guys. Um, 
4.3 K on DraftKings. That's not bad. Um, Glenn Robinson, no, Justin James can't do it. I love Gary Trent guys, but I'm mainly looking at starters and pretty much starters, especially for the Sacramento Queens. Um, am I missing anybody? Frank the Tank. No, I don't think so. He he's not a he's not a uh he's not old, but he's not young. So it's all about youth here, guys, and it's all about how these coaches run their rotations. Nurkic, no way in hell. Coming up, it's, he's great, but Portland's going to be really careful with their starters because they get hurt a lot. Um, so, yeah, I, and that's going to do it, guys. I mean, it's pretty simple. Follow the plan. Go with what we know off of last year. Go with who we already know is going to be out. Like, we know James Harden's already probably going to be out of Houston. He's not going to be out there, period. Um, but, yeah, stack up on Sacramento. The guys you know, Darren Fox, Jabari Parker, Rashawn Holmes, get some Giles, um, Bogdanovich for Atlanta. I like that play a lot. New team. Atlanta, again, they're going to they're gonna run these guys that have been proven in the NBA, if that makes sense, and see how they – because they got to get some cohesion with their new team, right? You can't – I don't care. Well, unless you're like LeBron or, or Anthony Davis, like you have to really get in sync with your teammates. You got to learn how they play. You got to learn the system, just like football. So I think like players like Bogdanovich, guys, players like that, they're going to get a lot of minutes because they have to. It's a shorter preseason than usual. So time is shorter. Time is of the essence, guys. So, yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully I wasn't too bad. Only a 20-minute video. Not too much. We should get this just right, guys. We should cash nicely. Um, I think a lot of player, a lot of people who there are the casual players will probably be, you know, they'll play the 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 starters. You know what I mean? Um, but we got that edge. And especially tomorrow, I'm gonna have an even better edge when I see what these beat riders put out there. Um, so yeah, guys, that's gonna that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, I already put the um, I set the reminder out there tomorrow. I'll be going one on one with my friend, my new friend. Actually, we talked quite a bit, and um, really cool dude, UFC fighter Nate Menes. Tomorrow, guys, coming off a knockout victory, up and comer in the UFC. Um, he's gonna have a, a title around his waist very shortly. So he was a killer, and I can't wait to talk to him. And it'll be streaming live, so you guys that have ever wanted to ask a UFC fighter or just a professional athlete, any questions, guys, I will have the chat open. So you guys are more than welcome to come in and let's talk to him, man. He, he, he's all about the fans. He's all about you. So give him some love and come and check us out tomorrow, guys. And subscribe to my channel because once you do and once you hit that bell icon, it'll just pop up on your device saying Skywalker's going live with Nate Maness. And hell, if I have time, I might do a live video before lock. For the uh, NBA preseason games. I'm so excited, guys. Really excited. I got the new digs. I got the new haircut. Still the same cat. But um, let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to say a prayer for everybody. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your pets. Let's get this bread. You know what we say. Say it with me now. Don't take shit from nobody. Absolutely nobody. My name's Gabriel Skywalker, guys. Take care. I'm just so excited, as if you can't tell.